So, to speed up the process of building solar boats around the world, we decided to install solar panels on our boat, first of all. Of course, our boat is least adapted to have solar panels on it, because it's a boat only 3 meters long, and it's quite difficult to install panels there. But nevertheless, we made a hood on it, and we installed a solar panel on the hood. But in the future, the entire hood, the entire area of the hood, the entire area of the front baffle should be covered with solar panels. That is, it is not made in this way, in the way we did it. We bought three flexible solar panels and we just installed them quickly on the frames. That is, if this frame is like a trolling arc, and it looks fine, it looks good. But the front baffle looks a little bit amateur. But that's okay. The most important thing is that we now want to understand the principle. Or rather, we even want to show the principle itself. That is, the boat does not necessarily have to ride up to a socket and you have to fuss and recharge it. No. There is always a lot of sun on the water, especially in the south, Krasnodar region, Anapa, in Russia. Look how many sunny days they have a year, more than 300 sunny days a year. It is quite possible to use electric motors in the future, and not necessarily to have an infrastructure, because solar panels, in my opinion, are the future. Why do I think that? First of all, you know, a kind of a stereotype has broken for me. It broke for me a few years ago when we installed solar panels on our green Bajaj Maxima. Honestly, that stereotype just broke for me. That solar panels are ineffective in the central area of Russia, in the central region. It's not true. The statement, well, it is not justified by anything. Maybe it is expensive, yes, but you cannot say that it is not effective. It's not true. Our project is often called a green one, a green project. Uh, breakthrough technologies. Well, if it's a green project, let's charge our batteries in a green way, let's say, from the sun and not burn fuel, oil or coal I don't know what they use, use nuclear fuel to get electricity. I am in favor of solar energy. It's not a displacement boat, it's a single seater. So we put a seat on it, we put a steering wheel on it, which means it's easy to steer. And we fitted a gas pedal. You turn the engine on, and the gas pedal turns the propeller. Well, I'd like to play with the propeller a little bit more. So we made a niche for the battery, so that it does not roll around the cabin. At the bottom it has a space, in case water gets into the boat, it does not get to the battery. And there are three controllers in the front. One controller for each panel. Well, you can install one, but a more powerful one. We had what we had. We had the solar panels purchased, and we purchased small controllers. So we installed them on the boats. Just recently we invited friends from Vietnam. We showed them our equipment and took them for a ride on this boat. Where did we find out that the transom is a little bit too small? That is, if in Indonesia we had a boat with too big transom, 
We had to saw it out. Well, here it is the opposite. We had to put a bar here, fix it all nicely, make a new aluminium fastening plate, and here we have already hooked our motor to it. We attached it quite securely. And now the transom distance is approximately, well, not even approximately, the transom distance is 44 centimeters. That is, the height of the transom is 44 centimeters. That is the fender of the motor itself. It is lowered below the bottom by 2 or 2.5 centimeters. In our case, it is 2 centimeters. You know, we have several solar boat projects all around the world. First of all, it is Indonesia, where a solar boat is being created. Latin America, a solar boat is being created there as well. And a solar boat is also being created in Macedonia. The guys there have already advanced very far. I mean, the boat itself is a 10-seater and it is ready. It is a displacement vehicle. It is a boat that can transport 10 or 12 tourists on Lake Ohrid. I have high hopes for this project. Because this project could be the beginning of a big commercial project. There are more than 2,000 gasoline engines registered on the lake. And with the appearance of solar boats, environmentalists will start pushing for a ban on the use of gasoline engines, that is, internal combustion engines on Lake Okred. There will be nothing left for the guys to do but to buy electric motors. And our motor, this particular motor, a DA95S motor has shown very good results. That is, it's a small battery, 32 ampere hours, and the boat moves on the lake for about an hour with it. This is a great result, it's excellent. We're now calculating the solar panels on the boat. There'll be about 3 a kilowatt capacity of solar panels and that will be enough for the boat to move around the lake and not to go near any sockets at all as we plan to put a battery there of about 8 kilowatt so you can ride tourists all day long recharging the battery from the sun and then in the evening if the battery gets really low you can put it in a wall socket to charge it well, that's all I wanted to tell you. Have a good day, everybody. See you all again.